So let's the review of Evolution X 5.5 on Poco X2. Let's skip to the about phone. As you can see, the Android version is Android 11. The secret version is of March 5, and the kernel version is 4.1. Now let's see the customizations. In system, you get gestures. In this, you get quickly open the camera. System navigation. In this gesture navigation works fine, as you can see. And even in two button, as you can see the navbar. Even the three button, as you can see, the gesture navigation works super fine. Then you get prevent ringing, three finger screenshot. In this you get swipe to screenshot and screenshot type. Then you get power menu. In this you get device control and send to content. Then you get double tap to sleep on lock screen or status bar and skip music tracks and adapt to playback. Here you also get option of thermal profile and you turn it on. See. It is default. You can set it to benchmark, camera, dialer, and gaming. And the main customizations that is the evolver. In this, you get tons and tons of customizations. In themes, you get dark theme, clock style. In clock style, you get tons of options. See, as you can see, you get many options to choose. Then you get accent color picker. Then you can choose the font, icon shape. Icon pack, then you get G visual mode, adjust the status bar height, that is the default, medium, large, and extra large. And you can turn on the rounded corners, then you can choose the volume panel style. Here you get custom header, suppose static, and suppose this one. As you can see, you can choose a custom header, then you get QA style style, then you get QA style disco. Tint QS style, status bar opacity, status bar gradient, and panel opacity. Then in status bar, you get clock and date. In this, you get show clock and date, clock style, AMPM style, show seconds, date style, date location, date format, etc. Then you get battery bar. Here, you also get option of status bar indicator. In this, you can choose the battery style, battery percentage, and battery percentage when charging. Then you get traffic indicator. Icon Manager, Show 4G instead of LTE, Use Old Style Mobile Data Icon and Roaming Indicator. Then in Notifications, you get Header Notification. In this, you get Header Notification and Less Boring Notification. You can also add the app for Stop List or Blacklist. Then you get Notification Header, Notification Sound Active, Vibrate Tone Notification, Kill App Button, Notification Light, Battery Charging Light, Show or New Notification, etc. And down here, you also get option of vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting, and vibrate on disconnect. Then in quick setting, you get quick pull down, then smart pull down, vibrate on touch, disable QA setting when lock. Then you can choose the rows and columns in portrait and landscape mode. Then you get show tile title. In header options, you get data usage in QS header. Then you get battery percentage, battery estimates in QS header. Then in brightness slider option, you get quick QS brightness slider. Then you get expanded QA slider, auto brightness icon, brightness slider at bottom, edit icon and QS footer text. Then in power menu, you get ASP settings. In this, you get the same options. Then you get advanced reboot, screenshot, screen record, and hide and lock screen. Then in gestures, you get ASP gestures. In this, you get the same gestures. Then you get screen of power button torch, automatic turn of the torch, brightness control. Then you get double up to sleep. Double up to wake on doors, etc. Then in lock screen, you get always on display schedule. Then you get fingerprint error vibration, fingerprint authentication vibration. Then in lock screen info elements, you get status bar, hide log icon, lock screen charging info, lock screen shortcuts, charging animation. Then in music, you get media cover art, media cover art filter, and media artwork blur level. Then in navigation, you get the same navigation options. Then in hardware button, you get click to partial screenshot, volume rocker wake, volume key cursor control, and reorient volume button. Then in animation, you get disable transition animation, screen of animation, scrolling catching. And in QS animations, you get animation style, animation duration, and tile animation interpreter. And miscellaneous, you get gaming mode. Then you get option of launch music app on headset connection. Then you get charging info, sensor blockage per package. Then you get Allow signature spoofing, USB configuration, when to play ringtone from, then you get radio info, then you get four brightness values, ambient display brightness, and ambient notification brightness, and the about section. 
for evaluation x room then in network and internet in mobile network and geo get volt and volt is working fine as you can see logo and down here you also got option now wifi calling then in hotspot and tethering you get wifi hotspot in this you get usb tethering bluetooth tethering and ethernet tethering then in apps notification you get conversation in notifications you get notification history here you also get option of notification bubbles and here down you get option of notification unlock screen hide silent notification in status bar allow notifications snoozing suggested action and replies notification dot on app icon blink light default notification sound and do not disturb mode and in apps notification you get screen time default tab poor show manager wireless mls alert and special app access then in display you get lock screen in this you get option like notification on lock screen i text on lock screen show lockdown option battery level on bottom double tap to check phone wake screen for notification ambient wake gesture always on when charging ambient music ticker and show ambient music ticker at its location then you get dark theme night light in live display you get reading mode and color calibration then in styles on paper you can choose the wallpaper then in style you can choose the accent color icon shape icon pack etc then in grid you can choose the grid size in rotation that is auto rotate the screen you can rotate the screen for 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degree and 270 degrees then in colors you can choose the color that is natural boosted and adaptive then you get full screen apps double to wake pocket detection enable blurs and here you also get option of device specific settings in this you can choose the refresh rate you also get option of automatically lower the refresh rate on battery saver and in battery saver you can choose the refresh rate to 30 hertz and down here you get option of ambient display in this you get wake up gesture pick up gesture and wave and pocket detection then in sound you can choose the sound in sound you get option of volume steps then you get ringtone vibration pattern vibrate on call do not disturb and in live caption when you turn it on you can choose the language high profanity show sound label and live caption in volume control let's turn it off if the live caption is on it will use more battery then in media you get show media player in quick settings and make sure when you install the room first go to ringtone and set the ringtone as by default it is set to none as you can see the ringtone and notification alarm everything is set to none then down here you get pulse here you already get navbar pulse lock screen pulse ambient pulse and render mode turn on smoothing color mode etc and down here you already get mi sound and answer in this you can choose headphone type and a preset here you also get option of enable hi-fi then in privacy you get portion manager here you can allow portion for certain apps then here you get show password notification on lock screen show clipboard access alert device personal and service app content etc then in location you can allow location for certain apps then in security you get screen lock and fingerprint you don't get an option for face unlock see even in smart lock as you can see there is no option for face unlock and in pattern you can choose the 6 into 6 pattern then in recent you get screenshot and select for clear all button you have to go to all the way back now let's check the drm info as you can see the wide one l1 is working fine now let's check the safety net and the run test as you can see the device is passed in play store let's check if the device is certified or not play store and settings as you can see the device is certified now let's check the camera dpi is enabled or not in manual camera start as you can see the camera dpi is enabled in this you get stock launcher with customizations like notification dot at a glance add up icon to home screen swipe to access google app overvision in suggestions you get suggestions in all app list and suggestions on home screen and block apps then down here you get home screen rotation and about section by default you get the stock camera that is this one 
but of course you can install the gk which i have installed as you can see the volt is working fine as you can see logo now let's check the calls are working or not 198 As you can see, the calls are working fine. The room is very smooth. I didn't know face and major bug. Thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next one.